As if things couldn't get any smaller, I guess we could call me Brick He-Man Smith. Anyway, this is another episode of World of Toys. Yesterday, we reviewed this very awesome brand new He-Man figure from Mattel, Masters of the Universe, new for 20. Today, we're going to review none other than the next figure in the line, Masters of the Universe, Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction. Hope you're having a, a big Friday. Hope it's bigger than me. Get it? Bigger than me? <laughs> anyway, really, it's big boy Last Smith, the one and only, your big bro, what up, Smith family? And this is Skeletor, Masters of the Universe, retro play, modern posing, come with a comic book, same old wrap up from yesterday, all six figures on the back. Now, I gotta tell you, this figure is awesome, but the reason I did that is because remember me saying I had a smaller He-Man figure from back in the day? Here it is. It's a Mega Constructs He-Man. I got it just because I thought this was going to be the only time I was going to be able to get a He-Man figure before, a couple years before they released this line. It's pretty cool. I forgot I had it until I got this He-Man figure. But anyway, let's look at what comes in this beautiful packaging here with Skeletor. Now, you have a staff and you have the sword. Let's take a look at the staff first. Sorry, my, um, my arm was dirty because uh, I think I filmed this right when I got off of work yesterday today being friday he'll be having a, a big friday bigger than brick brick he man smith but uh this is one piece it doesn't come apart uh and the detail on the skull of this staff is is pretty pretty good and uh there is the other half of the power sword which we'll get into later you remember yesterday we had one half that came with the he man which is a very very awesome figure and there's me playing around and uh, great accessories, you know, got the purple color. And then here is Skeletor in all of its glory. My very first, is this my first Skeletor figure? No, it is not. I think I bought the the Skeletor Mega Constructs in the little blind pack too, but I don't think I have it anymore. I think I lost it. You know, I moved a couple of times or whatever. And, uh, but man, I gotta tell you, He-Man was cool, but this figure here is on point. The coloring, the purple, the light blue skin, um, the articulation, of course, you know, the articulation is the same as the WWE Masters of the Universe, WWE Universe, and yesterday's figure. But uh, I don't know why this this figure stands out more to me than He-Man did. Oh, and you could take off his accessories, you take off his vest, you could take off his belt. Um, has the same hands as He-Man, has one closed hand to hold his staff and his sword, and has an open hand. Um, He-Man hold, holds the shield in his open hand, but this figure, man, just look at the color. And that face, it's an old school, it's true It's true old school embodiment, especially with uh, his head sculpt and his uh, cloak that's around the head sculpt, man. And I think that's what sold me when he looks all the way up. I don't think He-Man can really look all the way up like that and uh, because of the hair or whatever. But man, I really think that this figure here beats out He-Man. You know, I've always liked like Undertakers and Demon Finn Balor's and Fiends, which I have, but I've already opened it. But I don't think you want me to review open figure. And if you do, just let me know and I will. But uh, yeah, man, I mean, this figure is awesome. Oh, and it's uh, worth noting that unlike the Master of the Dirty Universe, they get their individual little sleeve. Well, I don't know if it's every figure in the line, but I know both of these came with the same comic book. So it's not even worth going through. It's the same thing as yesterday. Here he is holding his staff. Man, I'm telling you, this figure here is banging. I really, really like this figure here. I really do. There he is with the other half of the power sword, which we're about to get into now. Now, you know, uh, He-Man came with one half of the power sword. And we bring He-Man back into the fold. And you see He-Man has his sword on his holster in the back of his vest with the iron cross or whatever. You take both. And this is my first time putting both together when I was filming this a little earlier. And you take it. You roll it, you pat it, you mark it with a B, and you put it in the oven for the Smith family and me. And now you got the full effect power sword, gray on one side, purple on the other. And uh, cool for some old school stop motion, a little flip flop flippity. Without all the special effects, you can just turn it on and take your patience and uh, take individual pictures of each side. And there you go, some old school. What was that lyric? I forgot the lyric. What? Wait a minute. What is this? It's the King of Kings, Triple H. And he is pointing at He-Man. He-Man sees Grace. Oh, oh shit. He gets that. <laughs> let, me, let me quit. Oh, man. But, uh, and there you see Skeletor and the King of Kings team up. Now, 
since we have this here like a little bonus i've been had these figures i got these figures around christmas time was it they released them no they released the ring christmas time of last year i think these came out a little earlier in the year and now i see why they gave triple h in this individual uh purchase the uh the 1998 tights from i think what SummerSlam 98 against the rock i was wondering they gave him the modern face but they gave him his old colors and old tights now i see Skeletor is uh, purple himself, and you got a lighter purple with Triple H, and these two figures fit. And I've got great ideas now. Now, since I got um, He-Man and Skeletor, you know, The Rock and New Day and Braun Strowman, Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, those figures from the WWE Masters lines. And not saying it didn't make sense before, but it hella makes sense now. And if you're smart enough and you know Last Smith, this here just might be a spoiler. I'm really liking all these figures, the WWE ones, the Master of the Universe ones. Come back tomorrow for more videos. Four months or I quit, but I don't think I'm going to quit.